Hello, I'm Orbiter, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Only the Man version 1.4.1. Um, I transferred the save from version 1.3.1 to the latest version of KSP, and for some reason, that's probably because I haven't got all the mods for the game, the save got corrupted. Well, it's not fully corrupted, it still works, it's just that several of the craft have disappeared, so yes, we're missing a few things. And yes, I have added all you Kerbals who have been asked. They're in fact all on this craft. The only thing I forgot to do was record the Kerbals walking around and doing some odd jobs or something. I don't know. I just forgot to do that. I'll have to do that in the next episode. I think the problem was I've been messing around with the mission builder. I haven't done something properly with it yet. However, I have worked out basically how it works. I think I can build a mission with it, which would be a bit of fun. So let me know if you want me to do something like that. Anyway, here we are coming up to the spot in the video where something comes up and the reason why the Kerbals haven't been doing much lately. Yes, that happened. But being the good KSP here, I decide let's continue with the mission. Now this has enough fuel to get to the, the Mun and get into a polar orbit. The most difficult part then would be to send a refueler into the polar orbit to encounter that craft at the same time to refuel it, which is what I'm going to do. It would have been a lot easier if I left the spacecraft in orbit around Kerbin and then sent a spacecraft up to dock with it and then transfer the fuel. But I had to do things the hard way, didn't I? And that is get into a polar orbit on the Mun and then send the refuel craft over there. The good thing though is that I have had experience in sending things into polar orbit and building a space station. It took me a few attempts to realise, oh yes, this is what I have to do, and I'll show you that when we send a spacecraft over to refuel it. First off, let's get this thing into orbit around the man. And then we can decide on how we're going to send a craft over here. The one thing I like about Caspi is the building. Now, it's also the one thing I hate because it takes the longest part of the time, most of the time. That's why, if I'm going to do a mission builder, what I'm going to do is build the craft. If you guys want to do it, I'll have the craft ready in the mission builder. I even thought of doing a tutorial on how to build your space station. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do it, whether I'll let you be able to build the craft yourself or have the crafts there for you to use to get the experience of just building the space station in space because the hardest part is not building it on the ground yes a bit of balancing on the rcs but getting it into orbit rendezvous and docking if i do a mission something like that then i think it'll be a lot easier for you guys and then you can get used to the craft that i give you use them and work out how to build your own then but right now let's get this into orbit around kerbin and then set a course for the man. Now when you set a course for the man, right here you have to target your craft, find out which way it's orbiting, because this is very important. You want it to be go head the orbit, going over the man away from Kerbin, so that you can rendezvous. Then switch to another Kerbal that's on the man. That's a Finley Kerman. He was left over from the previous save that when I transferred it, he was just apparently on EVA, so he didn't get deleted like the other Kerbals. Anyway, fast forward time, because if you pick a craft which has landed, you can fast forward time faster until the orbit is in line with the maneuver node that you're going to make to come over the cr over the poles of the man. Is that is that an easy way to explain this? Anyway, do those maneuvers, get into orbit, and then do rendezvous and docking. I've got a tutorial for that, so I'm not going to waste my time telling you <laughs> repeating all this again. And I know there are a few new viewers who probably found this. Uh, channel through the space building a space station tutorials. That's great because that's what you have to well run when docking. It's best to go and watch the tutorials because I explain a lot more in them, especially oh, the older space station tutorials. I even show you how to build the craft. I think in the new ones, I've already had pre-built craft. Anyway, if you're having problems trying to run to you know how to do it, you know how to get close enough, but for some reason you keep on heading away and you don't know how to get close enough. So what you do is you head on the retrograde, make sure that your nav ball is in target mode. So then you can reduce that speed till it's close to zero, that means you're traveling at the same speed as the other craft you're trying to dock with. Then once you've done that, 
pointed towards the craft. Thrust towards it. If you're further than three kilometers away, a thrust about 10, 10 meters per second, or perhaps 15, maybe 20. And then once you see the spacecraft going to the side of the direction you're traveling, reduce your speed to zero again, point towards the target, thrust again towards it, and do 10 meters per second by here. And then you can see, if you keep on doing this, bit by bit, you'll get closer and closer. Just make sure you have enough fuel. That is the real issue that you probably have with this method, because it uses a little more fuel, because you're not doing it precisely, but it's the easiest way, and it's the one way that I found when I first started rendezvous docking, that it would work. And a quick tip on docking, if you have two craft and you can maneuver them, make sure that they're pointing at the docking ports or whatever parts that you need to point at, and they thrust them both towards each other, very slowly, using RCS I advise. And then, hey presto, you've docked. Now I've been docking for so many donkey years, I've only made it actually three, maybe four years. Yeah, in four, almost four years I think, man that's crazy playing one game for four years. No, I haven't been playing this game for just for four years. I've been playing it bit by bit, and I only have a couple of hours a day if I'm lucky to do this. So anyway, that's how you dock. Let's transfer dudes one Kerman over to the other craft because I don't want to leave curls up here. Admire the Earth in the distance, or curbing, as we orbit in a polar orbit. Now the hardest part for me is com coming up now. We have to do a landing. A precision landing that we're going to land near Finley Kerman. So let's separate these two off. Say goodbye. Yes, I left some space chunk in orbit around the man. So what are you going to do? Find me? No, no, actually, please don't find me. <laughs> if a space agency is listening to this, please do not find me. Okay, so. Right, you've just seen me make a note that we're heading over the top of Finley Kerman. And, uh, yeah, I haven't done it precisely, the no, because as you can see, the moon is rotating, so that means the position has changed, so then we have to change the maneuver again. So let's go ahead, do this thrusting, and pff, land. And you can see also I'm overshooting the target front quite a bit, so that gives me a lot of leeway to do some correction burns and also reduce my speed. Because as you reduce your speed, you're reducing where you're going to impact, the, well, where the lander is going to impact over the Kerbal. And now all we do is time warp and till we're, I can't remember, it, I normally say about 50 kilometers up, start reducing your speed, but I think I start reducing my speed right, about 45. It's a bit of a judgment call because it depends on your trajectory, how fast you're going, where you want to land, how you want to land. Because sometimes I travel over the Kerbal, reduce my speed 100% so then we're just falling down over the target. That's the most easiest way, that's the easiest way to do a precision landing. The only problem with that, it uses a little more fuel than doing a suicide burn when you're burning last minute. Now if you're not familiar with the term a suicide burn, is when you leave it till the last minute and using, you burn it a full throttle until you touch the ground. You're so close to the ground after you finish burning that you touch down softly. Anyway, as you can probably realize that I'd done a full thrust burn so we'd come straight down near Finley Kerman. Now I decided not to go into the basin this time because when we build a base here, I'm gonna build a similar base to what I'd done last time in the last Only the Man episode. I haven't laid the, the episodes from Only the Man. I'm not sure why. Anyway, we have landed. And you can hear, see here that we have inflatable things. Let's transfer some Kerbals over. And we got Inigo Mozart Kerman. And we got Kerman Kerman. Two Kerbals who have been asked to be, well, two people who have asked to be Kerbals. Ah yes, and that's what those things were called, which I forgot. Inflatable airlock. And yes, that rock in the distance is floating above the surface of the map. I think that deserves some investigation, don't you? But that'll be in a future episode. Also, let me know what else you want me to do. Perhaps we can go through the mission builder. Perhaps we can do a mission builder mission or something. Anyway, 
Anyway, I'm Orbiter. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Because I do things like this. Anyway, bye. See you in the next video.